This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e learning to instructor led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. Anytime you're using a Microsoft product, there's always a really great help option that's available for you. Let's go into our project and look at a couple of ways that you can access help. I simply am on the file menu. Whoops, excuse me, when I clicked it a second time, I went off the file menu. But now I'm on the file menu inside of the sample project that came from Microsoft. It's the wine tasting fundraiser example that Microsoft makes available. And again, anyone has ac accessibility to that particular template through the template options. But what we want to look at here is that on the file tab toward the bottom, you can click to go get help. So there's one location that you can get help. Before I click that though, also on the right side of the screen, and the right side of the screen in the top right hand corner, I'm just moving my mouse here to visually find it for you, there is that little blue circle with the question mark in it. That's always in the top right hand corner of your screen. So when you are on anywhere, when you're in anything inside a project, you can click on that little blue circle and it'll go get help for you. And then there's also F1. So your keystrokes that's always available on your keyboard is F1. And those three options are always available for you in project. Other areas you might find other ways to get help, but those are always there. So while we're here and this one's visible, I'm going to go ahead and point to help. I'm on the left side of the screen and just click to pop up help. Now on this one, it says, oh, what kind of help do you want? In the other areas, it might just automatically take you to help. It'll take you right to the screen. And so what I want is I just want to go to Microsoft Office Help. And if I click on Microsoft Office Help, it pops up. Now the toolbar, excuse me, the title bar across the top, you can click and drag and move this around. You can also, I'm in the top left-hand corner right now, you can also get the two-headed arrows. And anytime you have a two-headed arrow, you can always resize. So you have the flexibility to move windows around, to resize, whatever it is you'd like to do for visual preference. You can also use the maximize button and use the maximize so it takes up the entire screen. It's totally up to you. Now by default it has some generics here. Say hey what is it that you would like to learn about project and it will take you through some help items. One thing that I might recommend to you is check out some of the new things where it says learn what's new with the ribbon. You'll learn and identify some things that have not been available in previous versions of project. But what I want to do is scrolling back up to the top here just so you can see that I'm not clicking on anything. And in the search window, top left hand corner, you simply click and you type in what it is that you need help with. For instance, I want to figure out how to print. So I just type in print and then I hit enter and it will take me out into Microsoft's world and identify for me what it thinks I might be talking about. Now luckily, this one understood what I wanted to talk about and it said, oh, you want to preview and print a file or you want to print or view a report. Sure, I, I do, that's exactly what I want. I'm not sure which one, so I'll click this one first and I'll read through what do I want to do, print a view. I'm not sure that's right, but I'll click on it. And let's see, reading through and just pretending here that no, that's not what I want. Well, instead of starting completely over, I know that I was close to what I wanted. Look at the tools now in your toolbar. The top left button is just like using the internet. You have your back and forth button. So I can just use my back button to take me back to my results for print. I don't have to start all over. I just use my back button to go back to where I th what I thought was what I wanted. It wasn't, so let's try this one. And again, I'm just pretending, yep, this is exactly what I want. And so I decide to go out and watch a video. Now, if you do choose to watch the videos, you may have to install Microsoft Silverlight so you can view the videos. But for many of you, you're going to prefer a video over reading. So as you're working through your help files, scroll through, find the feature that works the best for you, follow the links, and if you're not where you want to be, you can A, start over by retyping here at the top, or you can just use your back buttons to take you back to the search results that you first found. 
Whatever works for you, the more you play with help, and I say play with it because I really believe that as you're out there using it, you'll find that it's engaging and you'll find it so useful and entertaining that you'll use it a lot. So the more you play with it, the better you're going to get with it, and the better you get with it, the more you'll use it because you'll find so many answers right at your fingertips.